Hi Taurus sisters, it's Amy Kay. This is a, uh, a hopefully a quick show and tell video of the new issue of Taurus Sisters magazine. You can go to TaurusSisters.com and subscribe to this and I will mail it to your house. Or if you want the PDF that you download and you can look at it immediately on your tablet, um, you can get that version too. So this magazine is an every other month magazine. That means it comes out every two months and I'm just going to give you a little tour of this issue. And I do have some back issues too. Um, the previous issues that I still have some of the prints available, you can go and buy those and I will mail them to your house until they run out. So there's a letter in here from me, tells about what's in the issue and then of course a beautiful table of contents. There are scripture posters in each issue where we take a Bible verse and we put it into a, a poster that you can cut this page out if you want and actually um, display it in your home as a poster or just use it to meditate on the word. This article is from my friend Ann Elliot, The Ways of Her Household. Anyone who, well, I think all of us women, we manage our households and sometimes that work can feel tedious and boring and unmeaningful or unimportant. She has a word of encouragement for you. Another scripture poster. This article is from Lisa Plank, um, especially for single women who feel like they are not supposed to do certain things until they get married. And, and she realized like she wanted a garden. She's like, why can't I have the kind of garden I want now? I don't have to wait till I get married. So very well done and encouraging article for single women. See, there's a little bit of everything for everyone in these issues. This article is from Jen Doobie, Finding the Blessing in Shabbat, really practical things that she did to keep her heart and mind focused on what's truly important about Shabbat and prepping for Shabbat and things then that you can do too. Elisa DeSalvo wrote an article about time management tips, very practical and this is something that we all struggle with and could do better at. Sarah Collar wrote an article about um, a candle craft that she made. There's often DIY projects and crafts in the magazine and this is the one in this issue. Uh, Constance Smith, this is my friend Constance over, um, uh, she's on YouTube at a Good Life Farm. She, and these are ads by the way, there are ads in here from uh, ladies who have stuff that I think you would love. <laughs> so Constance gives me the, the featured recipes and every issue. Uh, she does a lot of these on YouTube as well, so go watch her YouTube channel. But um, here she has skillet cheddar biscuits and creamy tomato and chicken soup, which is perfect for this time of year. And zucchini and beef soup as well. Hannah Vogel wrote, How I Reset My Heart and Home for the Sabbath. Again, really practical things that she does. And so you're going to see in this magazine some of the same themes over and over. And that's because they come from different women's perspective or they're going to um, dive into a really specific part of the Sabbath or prep and things like this. So this is from Hannah's point of view, what Hannah does, um, because I know a Sabbath is new to a lot of us and a lot of us who have been doing it for a while, we love to see how other ladies do things. So this is how Hannah prepares her heart and home. And at the end of every article, you can read a bio to learn more about the women who write these articles. Go and visit their websites. They um, do this as an offering to our community. So visit their websites and get to know these lovely women. This article, Five Creative Cures for the Wintertime Blues. This is from my friend Victoria Reed. Um, she says, I grew up in Michigan where January was, was, wasn't the peak. It was just the beginning of a frigid um, winter. <laughs> so she has very creative ways to um, not get down during the winter, which I appreciate very much. Uh, Jen Elgin wrote laundry powder. So another DIY project, how to make, how she makes laundry powder, laundry detergent. Lee Denono, this is Lee <laughs> over here, um, wrote an article about praising through the pain. So encouragement for those of you who are in some sort of chronically, um, uncomfortable situation. Um, read her words here. This is, this is a really powerful article. And Sarah also contributed an article about Psalm 68 and the long winter's nap and how she's approaching these, um, cold months. <laughs> See up here in the North, we get like 
oh, winter and we just want it to end. But she's like, Here am I, here's what I'm going to do with the winter and make it meaningful and useful for me. It's not just something to endure. It's something to use for the kingdom. Um, and then there are a whole bunch of soup recipes in this issue. This issue, I just wanted it to be full of um, winter yumminess. And to me, that is soups. So a lot of different ladies contributed many soup recipes. Chicken and dumplings, lemon chicken orzo, chicken nachi, potato and leek, Mexican sweet corn, loaded baked potato soup, beet borscht. I'm sure I'm pronouncing some of these very poorly. Uh, ads and ads, but check out all the advertisers. They're supporting the magazine. Part of the reason this magazine comes to you is because of the advertisers. And Victoria Reed also contributes date night ideas. One, an idea that costs nothing, an idea that costs a little bit for a date, an idea that maybe is a little more of a splurge. So these are wonderful. Um, and then in every issue, there's a section called Ask the Taurus Sisters, where I have gone on Facebook and I asked the Taurus Sisters. And this one I said, tell me one thing you do on prep day to make Sabbath somehow better or more set apart, especially if it's somewhat unusual. Like there's things that we all kind of know how to do. But so these ladies gave me ideas that were a little more out of the box, that are unique to them and their lives or their families or their needs or what makes special a Sabbath special to them. So you might find some really cool inspiration or ideas in here. And then one more scripture poster. And on the back is an ad for, this is my friend Crystal from madetobeunique.com. She is the graphic designer and really the creative director behind making this magazine beautiful. I give her all of the text from everything and she is the one who makes it beautiful. Um, and she's a great, great help to me and so um she's been a really and continues to be a super meaningful part of this project so if you need a website um or marketing help go to her website contact her tell her i sent you that'll mean a lot to her too and then um but also if you want to buy an ad in the magazine if you have a little business that you think uh the Taurus sisters should know about then she can make the ad for you. If you just really don't know how to do graphic design, she can do it for you. So contact her and ask her about her rates for making an ad. You just have to tell her what it should say and then she can make it look amazing. So that's it. This magazine is the best thing I have. You all know I have stickers and t-shirts and printables and lots of other things on my website. This is the cat's meow of everything on my website. This is the most meaningful thing. And it will, um, it's like a little book. It's, you're buying a little book. Uh, they're printed with really thick covers. It's not printed like a normal magazine. It's printed to last. I mail it to you in a poly bag. That's like a plastic bag. So it's not gonna get ruined by the post office. Yeah, willing. Um, it's not gonna get wet and soiled from snow or rain. This is gonna last because everything in here will stay relevant for years and years and years and years. And you will pass these down to your daughters and are, pass these around to your lady friends and share them with the people at your congregation. Uh, it's, it's, not meant, it's not designed like a normal magazine. This is different, just like we're different. <laughs> so uh, I pray that this blesses you. Please go and subscribe to OurSisters.com. Thank you, sisters. Bye.